Hello, today, and today we're going to have a game of Woody's World on the Commodore Amiga, and this is a game request by Andrew Heather on YouTube. Right, so this is going to be a platform game. Well, of course it's going to be a platform game, because it's a request by Andrew. It's usually platform games and text adventures, isn't it? Right, amazing. I've had a test run of it, of course. That's why I knew it was a platform game as well. Um, push fire to start. Do I really want to? Well, we're going to. And there's more loading. Right, Steam Castle. So we've got no choice but to start there first. So this is Vision Software. I did have a game called, um, oh, what was it? I, it's a racing game. I had a racing game by um, Roadkill. That's it, Roadkill. That was a good game back in the day. I had Roadkill by Vision Software. <clears throat> um, oh, what's going on here? Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, so push down takes you to a mystery room. So collect the coins. You can't fire for some reason. Perhaps you've got to collect something. Oh, look, more coins. So let's exit out of that. So we'll bear that in mind now. If you go, so you can't. As I said, you can't fire unless you are, maybe you have to pick a weapon and you get an energy meter. Hmm. Right, let's go up here. Let's go through this door. Question mark. Where's it going to take us? More. Ooh. Oh, look. See, Ed Butler. Hearts. And I think I missed something there. More coins. And let's get out of here. Perhaps this was F heavily influenced by the Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers. I don't know, similar sort of concept. Look at that. Jump on their heads. We've seen that before somewhere else. As I said, Mario. Oh, bollocks! And we've seen that before, haven't we? So it looks like where you die, you start from, so you don't have to replay the level. Well, that's always welcoming. Are we going up? Oh, bollocks. So if you get energy in this one, you don't obviously get your two or your one hit and you're dead. So. Right, here's the exit. Is that level one done? Steam Castle Area 1 complete. Chests found? No, none. Co yeah, none. None. No, area 2. Ooh. Steam Castle. Here we go. I suppose it's not bad, this game. It's not too difficult. Oh, fucking I was pushing jump there, you bastard. I was going to say, I don't think it's that difficult of a game. Ooh, those. Well, I might want to go up there. If that lift comes back down, here it comes. Oh, it's more tempted to go up there. Yeah, it might be a little bit easier up this way, getting through it. Right. Well, it, there must be a reason why you can't use fire button, because I would much rather have fire button as a jump button than pushing up on the stick. So, fire button must do something later on in the game. Right. So you can scroll both directions. Fuck. And it's game over. So the question is, are we going to get continues? And the answer to that question is... We'll find out when it loads. No. 
Okay. Um, right, let's have another go. Alright, so Steam Castle once again. Um, graphically, it's not very good, to be honest with you. From me, but it's a platform game, so you can't expect it to be brilliant. You know, platform games, I'll say brilliant, you know. I mean, I've seen some really nice ones like Zool, really nice graphics. Obviously, that it just looks a bit 8 bit, but more detail, if you know what I mean. Eight, a detailed 8 bit game. Um, but I shouldn't judge a game by graphics because it's not all about graphics, it's about playability. Um, I mean, it's not the worst platform game I've ever played. But I think they, if you could use the fire button as a jump, yes, I know you can map it, but that's not the point. We couldn't do that on our real Amigas, could we, back in the day? Couldn't just remap what you wanted. So I'm looking at, when I play, review games, I'm looking at as I would if I played it on a real machine back in the day. People say, oh, yeah, but you can remap it, but no, it's not the point. You couldn't remap things back in the day. Wasn't that easy? You couldn't do it. Um, so, yeah, if it, if you could use fire button or if it could support up to two fire buttons, which if you had a joystick that could support two buttons, then you were golden. Obviously, I didn't back in the day. I didn't have no joystick. But if that option was there, if I did have a two-button joystick back in the day, I would much rather use it. Perhaps, I don't know, perhaps I might have overlooked something in the menu. Perhaps there's an option. And I didn't. Oh, bollocks. Um, it's not a bad game. It's not a terrible game. Fuck. Didn't pay attention to that. Area one complete. Okay. Chests found. Oh. Found a bit more chests this time. Excellent. So we got here last time. So let's see if we can do a little bit better. I always say that and I never do. Ooh. I would have been close. Right. I'll have to make the jump or do we just go up here? Avoid all that. Right, okay, get all the coins. Jump on his head. Can I just jump? Oh no, oh that was the bloody that was lucky, weren't it? Well right, watch this. I can go up here. Might take us somewhere. Oh more coins. And a chest. Watch the spikes, because I don't want to get pricked. Was that a button? Oh, so... Ah, oh, shit! And it's game over again. Um, It's not a bad game, to be honest with you. Okay, graphics are a little bit bland. It's, uh, but as I said, graphics are not everything. Uh, but the gameplay, you know, it's not a bad little game, actually. It's not a bad little game. Um... I think I would have played it if I had it back in the day. I don't know how often I would have played it, but that's another thing. But you know, it's not a ter it's not a terrible game. It's not a terrible game at all. It's just not the best platform game I've ever played, but it's not a terrible game. Anyway, I'm gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.